I'm George, and I play Ned, um, Ned Kelly. And yeah, I play, I play, there's, there's two versions of him. There's a young version and an older version. I play the older one. <laughs> and I play Ellen Kelly, who's Ned's mum of both the young and the older version. <laughs> <laughs> I write to you now. So you do not go to confuse fiction for fact and view your father in an unsavoury light. I knew that famous helmet um, and I knew his image and I knew his name, but I didn't know any of his history beforehand. And so when we first auditioned for the role and got the role, there was a lot of research into finding out. I kind of first went at quite an autobiographical approach. And then when we got to it quite quickly, we sort of let go of that and made it more in the spirit of it rather than the kind of the bang on history that's there. You know, and in Australia, he's quite a, uh, he's a bit of a carnival. You know, he's sort of, there's beer coasters with his head on it. There's uh, all sorts of sort of novelty stuff kind of about him and so many books being written about him. That it was just a great observation of um, identity and why we suddenly kind of want to identify with this man and why our history keeps on going back to him. The law was really trying to work out what the hell it was around that time. It was a real sort of bad land. So, um, you know, I, I love it when you can kind of see, you know, two really opposing kind of characters trying to find some sort of similarity with each other. And, and you know, definitely Ned's sort of relationship with the law in the film was, was one that was really interesting to me. Stepping out of your mongrel life into something new. My boy. The true history of the Kelly gang is that we are the Kellys and we are the gang and the family is everything and the family is what Ned can become a part of or be ostracised from. And when he decides to step back into his mother's world, he really loves her so much he can't let it go. And um, the gang is this, you know, Ellen is this matriarch who knows how to survive and will do everything in her power to survive and to keep raise her children to be survivors. And we're going to take the future and make it ours! And there was just a particular period in Australian music that I was quite inspired by in the 70s. I thought it was just a good sort of touchstone. And, and actually a lot of... These photographs of certain bands in Australia at the time, the way they dressed and looked at, were, was really similar in terms of silhouette to the to the Kelly Gang and, mm -hmm. and 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 to some of those sort of more pioneering photos of Australia in the 1870s. So, it you know, and then the, and then I got the boys, the the gang, the actors to kind of be a punk band for two weeks so that they would become familiar with each other. No, I see, he says I see these this 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 lot as a punk band, all of them. So I want you to embody that. And, and it was just this really kind of creative, sensuous, kind of ex very expressionistic kind of experience. It was great. Look, it was a really weird organic um, evolution where the punk stuff kind of really just came through through the making of the film. Mm -hmm. It wasn't a conscious, like, I'm going to make this punk. It, it really was, um, I want the characters to look and feel familiar. I don't want them to feel like they're 100 years away. And, and suddenly this music that they were writing um, just somehow encapsulated a certain sort of spirit of them mm. that, um, yeah, that played in the film. For me, it was a real scream. I'd sort of done a film where I was sort of quite frustrated by it and I was really missing home and wanted to go back and there was a sort of almost a kind of anger and a frustration with filmmaking and and in a, in a sense Kelly was a was something that um, I just wanted to be bold and I wanted to try things and I wanted to kind of be very loud it felt privileged to be there and a part of it and the journey of making it was so kind of profoundly important I think we, yeah. we are now bound together for life in a way that <laughs> that we wouldn't have been had had it not been that process the commitment that everyone gave to it is kind of profound to sort of it's a it's a mad feeling to kind of go to your limits a little bit that's quite exciting and then to sort of break through and it's sort of like I don't know with a few things even in rehearsals it kind of emotionally broke me open in a way that I've not had for a long time. There's a couple of really profound things which aren't even necessarily in the film, which is just through the rehearsal process of like where you kind of crack open and it's such an amazing surprise. But I couldn't have had that unless it was 
Justin and also everyone's commitment to like, yeah, let's all get on board with, let's do this. Thank you for watching Picture House Cinema's unique video content. Hit the subscribe button to be kept up to date with our movie news, cast and crew interviews, highlights, trailers and lots more.